So it's 112, 118, 113. My name is Lucas Weber. I'm a men's foilist on the Australian fencing team. Fencing for me is basically a mix of um, tactical and technical ability, but there's also a strong emphasis on the physicality of the sport. So it's almost like uh, physical chess is an analogy that gets thrown around a bit. You have to work out different ways about smarting your opponent whilst also putting into practice your training exercises and that kind of thing. There's actually three disciplines in the sport of fencing. There's foil, epee and sabre, and each one has a male and a female event. Foil is a lighter weapon um, with a smaller target area. The target area is just the chest. Epee is a full contact weapon. You can touch anywhere from the, the head to the toes. And sabre um, has a similar scoring system to foil and again, limited target. The target is limited to the, from the waist to the top of the head. However, um, with a sabre, you can score with the blade as well as the point. Camp here is actually the largest camp that we've ever had. It's got 120 athletes and coaches and what we're trying to do here is basically uh, bring everyone together to work on technical and tactical exercises but also um, improve our physicality. So there's been a lot of strength and conditioning exercises and um, a lot of competitive batting practice as well. So there's been quite a few things we've been working on here. When I start my lunge there's no power in my back leg. This is about flexibility not power. Camps such as this uh, take athletes from all over the country and bring them into one spot to train together. We have a lot of athletes doing good work in small areas or small groups of athletes doing good work in different areas but there's nothing better for them than getting into a larger group and getting more variety in opposition. Olympic qualification would be number one goal at the moment. Um, even if I don't qualify for Rio, it's a long, it's a long process. But I'm still quite young at the moment, and the peak for this sport isn't as low as other sports. So I can go on until mid 30s or something like that. So I'll just be continually aiming for next Olympics from there. <laughs>